Good morning. This is Warrior Queen with your spiritual reading, and today is Wednesday. <clears throat> the first card I pulled is the Four of Cups. This card showing that there's a pause, a dissatisfaction, or an indecision. Sitting there with your hands folded, not sure what decision to make. I pull the widow card, showing that it's something you still need to let go, something you still need to bury. I pull the unusual look. Happiness is on your agenda. You're still going to be receiving luck. Even though you're in this stage mm -hmm. of dissatisfaction in your life, something's still looking out for you. Your higher self, source, still looking out for you. <sighs> you still need to work with that balance. This is show of renewal, acknowledge, harmony, healing, balance of feminine and masculine energies. For the four wands. This is an easy situation. Rewards for past work. Safety, the home, kind of like a good foundation. Pull some money card. So, you know, you've been rewarded. I pull the good choices. Help comes from unexpected resources. Because you've been on that steady path, making good decisions. Pull the love card. Harmonize. Reconnected. Creativity. Stay in tune with that love vibration. Pull the Wheel of Fortune. This is chance. Opportunities. Maybe some ups and downs. I pull spiritual cord. Stay in tune with your higher self. With source. I pull Despo in charge. Someone who wants to run your life, this person, um, watch out for this person who's trying to run your life or have you make hasty decisions. I pull the detach. You still need to reflect. Accept, decide, and gain clarity. Pull the Six of Coins. You receive an excellent news, victory, triumph. Yeah, there you go. I know it. I know it. He got to be somewhere in the midst of your victory. There you go. He He's there when the good times, and he's there during the bad times. 
pull the man's call. So I'm figuring he's in the midst of this call. So some type of event. It's probably dealing with men or a group. To stay away from this group. Because he behind this some type of way. So any type of function, you see something rising up. Uh, disagreement, arguments. Make sure you stay out the line of fire. And I pulled the flow cord. Once again, the water. Purification. And the flow. You attract it. You release it. This is your expansion. And I pull the communicate card. And this is listen carefully, speak clearly, and with confidence. And I pull the Bracano card to prepare, cautious in what you do, mental, physical, and personal growth, promise of new beginning, gentle power, light of spring. And this card also represents the Empress, beauty and creativity. And Isis has this to say. Talismans of potency. Sacred tools and objects can become an extension of your energy field, focusing your power and intention, helping you heal the split between spirit and matter, bringing physical matter more deeply into the light and life. You are encouraged to work with sacred materials in conscious ways to help your own healing and enjoyment of the material world as part of your spiritual practice. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.